Well guys, it is your last 48 hour reminder. If you want to get entered to win this 2007 59 Cummins plus $5,000 cash, it does end at 11.59 p.m. at the end of the day, at the last minute on April 14th is your last chance to get entered to win this track. All you gotta do is go to mlpgear.com, buy anything on the store, literally any product that you purchase will get you entered to win this thing. And right now, not only is it the last couple moments, but it's our highest entry deal we have ever offered. Every $1 gets you 30 entries. Take advantage of it while you can. The giveaway will be gone Thursday night. Update on the King Ranch frame and painting since it's all dry now. You can see I painted the hitch. Rear end of the frame. Again, the B&W hitch, just a mess. But you can see the frame painting and the leaf painting. It all turned out really well. Not done, we gotta finish up a couple things under here, but so far, so far so good. It's actually a surprise for him for his birthday of a couple things that I got, got for his truck. So hopefully they show up on time and we can do those today. If not, we'll figure something out. Quick question, I've got a truck that I wanna get quoted to get some paint and rust fix and stuff like that. When would be a good time for you for me to stop by and let you see it? I don't need to drop it off today, but you know, I, I know you got stuff going on. I just wanted to be able to swing by so you can at least give me your feedback on what you think it'll cost and how much you're gonna have to do to it so I have a ballpark when I'm ready to drop it off. Probably wouldn't want to wait too long to get it done at some, you know, to at least get it dropped off, but it's not something that would be on a deadline to get done. It's a truck I'm gonna be keeping for myself. If I was there in 15 minutes, that would be okay? Okay, okay, sounds good. I'll head that way now then. I was gonna do something on the King Ranch, which I might still do, but the parts that I have for that truck still have not come in. So, they're still running behind. They say they're out for delivery though, but they've said that for the last four hours. So I'm gonna actually take this truck, since we're getting ready, to start with the restoration project of my grandfather's 2001 Ram 1500 that I had picked up for him, and I believe it was late 2018 I bought him this truck. He passed away in 2021. I was able to purchase this truck off of my grandmother, and I'm going to try to get a full restoration of this thing. Now, when I say restoration of this thing, I don't necessarily mean everything is gonna be the exact way that it was when I bought it for him, but it's gonna be to an extent in that condition, plus even better. So I'm planning on getting this thing, all the paint and body work cut out, you know, that's rusting, everything redone, possibly new fenders and doors and all kinds of stuff. And then in the interior, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of custom stuff. But I'm gonna save some of those details for another video because plans can change, but for sure, all the paint and the rust and everything needs to get fixed on this thing and redone. So we're gonna head on over there to Miguel's shop where he does all of the paint and body work for all of our vehicles. We're gonna go check him out. We're gonna go swing this thing by, let him check out the truck, and I'm gonna get back with you in terms of what it's gonna cost us to get this thing all redone and what's a realistic timeline on when he's gonna be able to finish this thing. But he's pretty busy, he's got a lot of stuff. He's always got several vehicles in line to get done. So uh, we're gonna swing by there now and see what he says. I know it's gonna need a lot, so I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, but um, it's gonna be well worth but let's stop by and see what he says. So we've got some news for the old white noise as we are calling it currently. And I already did a video showing everything about the rust that was on it and about, I wanna say it was in September. So, you know, several months back. We drove this truck, however, all winter. And we drove this thing all winter because this was the rustiest vehicle that we had at the time. And I thought, you know what? The truck's already rusty. Let's just keep driving this in the winter instead of all the other trucks that are currently not rusty and run it through the winter. And as soon as spring is here, weather's nicer, we can drive you know, all the other vehicles a lot more and not worry about salt and everything else on the road. Um, then maybe we will get this all redone when we don't need it anymore as a daily go-to vehicle and get this redone and let it live a life of luxury and ease and very rare usage. But when it does get used, it's very, very pamper. So that's the goal with this thing. But since we did drive it all winter, it did have some more rust expansion. So this truck's gotta get several things. A um, Couple of them, it's gonna be getting new fenders in the front on both sides because they're starting to bubble all the way through here and they're pretty, pretty shot down low. So he's just gonna do all new fenders. The door is gonna need to be redone because it is really, really rotten. So like you can see this door panel here. You can literally pull the whole outer shell away from the rest of the door structure. And on the underside, 
let me get the key here. And you can see there's holes in the bottom of the door, so it's gonna have to just get completely replaced unless he can take the panel off, take the whole thing off, and cut the door like from one of the body lines down and cut the whole lower half of the door off. And sometimes you can buy just like lower halves that are um, pre-made and you can just, you know, hold them piece them together and weld them together and sometimes it works out well but I think he said he's gonna end up just having to go with a whole new door and then the rockers on both sides are gonna be needing to get cut and re welded back in new ones so this one on the driver's side is exceptionally bad all the way back to the cab corner all needs cut out the back door on this side if I can get it open that's gonna be getting fixed too. Am I the only one with a second gen rear folding door that just absolutely sucks? Or do you have second gens with terrible rear folding doors as well? I will say this, I love the idea of having rear folding doors versus not having them, at least it's an option. But when they're that hard to open, it just sucks. Now I'm gonna try, actually now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna get some PB Blast and stuff and lubricate all the mechanisms down there and up top and just see if that helps anything. But this thing's always a bear to open. The door back here, it's got a little bit of surface rust down on the lower part, but it's not bad. So he said that he'll look at it and sand it down. And if it ends up being too crumbly and it doesn't look like it's gonna be in good shape, then it's just gonna have to get, you know, replaced. We're probably gonna have to replace this rear door as well on this side. The bed, of course, you can see the bed is bubbling out real bad here. There's a big spot about the size of my hand right there and then there as well. So he said that he's gonna cut this all out and weld in a new rear bedside for most of this because it's bubbling out down low and around the tail lights and stuff. So um, that's all gonna have to get redone. The bumpers, I'm gonna just buy new bumpers for this. I'm not gonna have him worry about that because it's gonna be just as easy for me to do it because all I gotta do is buy a bumper and bolt it on there. Rear tailgate's actually fine. He's gonna fill these couple real small dings, like these small blemishes. Um, but for the most part, tailgate's in pretty good shape. The bed on this side isn't bad back there. Back there's real clean, but on this side, it's just right here is the rust, and then there's a couple little orange spots starting to pop out there. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the bed on this side. Then coming on over to the passenger side cab corner, you got a big old rust hole right there on the cab corner. And then you got a little crinkle in the door. He said he's gonna try to fix that. He said he thinks he can get that pretty easy and flush that back out to where it's, it's smooth like it's supposed to be. This door doesn't have any rust at all down low. This rocker is starting to go, so he's gonna have to cut all this back from the rocker all the way back to the cab corner and do all that. And then in terms of the underside of the truck, it's really not that bad. It can, it can totally be saved. Um, I've seen a lot worse, but luckily the underside of this truck's not it's not awful, it's totally salvageable. Coming over to the passenger side door, there's no rust on the underside of that door. And then this fender isn't terrible, but it's got these couple little bubble spots. So this is, he's just gonna replace the whole fender since he's already doing the other side as well. And for a grand total, he quoted me 5,000 to $5,500 depending on the cost of parts, because he said that some of the prices for like doors and fenders have gotten even more expensive since he's done one of our trucks last. And so he said he'll check to see what the price differences are, but that's not terrible. And you know, when you're getting a job done right, it's worth spending the money to get it done right. So I'm not worried about that. And the truck means a lot more to me than the 5,500 to get the paint and body work done. In terms of a standpoint of cosmetic appearance, it's gonna look a little bit different than it did when I got it from my grandfather originally. And for the guys that are watching this and gals that don't understand why I'm even redoing this truck, it's a truck that I bought for my grandfather in, I think it was mid to later 2018. It was after I did my first one or two giveaways with the first portion of money that I actually made successfully doing that. I went and bought him this truck. I was able to buy it back. And so I wanna get the whole thing redone and keep it for as long as I can, which is, hopefully forever. The only way this truck's gonna leave my possession is if I end up gifting it to one of our kids at some point or something like that. But otherwise, this is gonna be staying with me a long time. The truck's gonna get sanded top to bottom and all redone. I didn't tell him to do the cap just because the cap is gonna be coming off the truck and 
you know, if the cap's not a permanent piece of the truck, it doesn't need to be in perfect shape, but it's already in decent shape. It's got a couple small clear coat peel spots on the back corner, but you don't even really notice it. But for the most part, it's already the same color and it looks really good and I'm really not worried about it. And we do also have some things we're gonna be doing with the interior, which I'm also super pumped about, but that I'm gonna save for a later date discussion because that might be a little bit further down the road. There's really no point in going into full in-depth detail on the interior because that's gonna be getting done a little bit later down the road compared to the exterior and stuff. Hopefully I'm gonna be having that paint and body work done here soon because we're getting ready to move and I'd like to get it done before we're out of town and then I have to make trips back and forth. But regardless, we're gonna be getting that done probably sooner than anything else. Hopefully in the new shop, we're able to tear into this thing and swap out all the wore down parts, all the squeaky stuff, the old belt, the old pulleys, you know, do an engine tune up, replace all the plugs and anything that it needs to be in top condition and just be a killer truck that's just super reliable and everything's been gone through. We're just gonna start to tear into and go into all that stuff. So I'm super pumped about that as well. And if you'd like to enter to win this 2007 5.9 Cummins plus five grand, the giveaway ends in about 24 hours. The giveaway for that 0759 is actually ending on Thursday night. So if you haven't got in, don't waste any time if you're thinking about it because time is almost up. Hey, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and turning on the notifications so you actually get all the notifications for when new videos go live. Let me know if you guys have been liking the more regular uploads and if you do, awesome, I'll keep up with them. And seriously, if you're considering entering to win that truck, all you gotta do is go to lnpgear.com. You could buy a hoodie like this one, a hat like this one, and get entered to win that truck plus five Ran. How would you like that truck's keys to be in your Easter basket this year? Okay, that's a little bit unrealistic because of the fact that, well, you know, the giveaway's ending like two days before, three days before Easter, but, you know, it could come shortly after. We could actually put it in an Easter gift basket and send you the keys if you want. That way you can be notified that you win in that manner if that's what you'd prefer. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support, and I'll catch you in the next video.